What is going on guys? Welcome back to 10 of the Pit. Today we're going to do a fresh off the press with a new uh, raw hybrid. This Nicole is still uh, on maternity leave basically so this is how we're going to do the unboxing hopefully from here on. If not, I don't know what we're doing. We haven't done an unboxing video and since she uh, left us here for the have her baby. Hammer Raw Hybrid. Not a bad looking ball. Blue and orange. A lot better than the orange and black of the last model. Um, this one here is going to be going for Quentin. Um, another two handed layout system for him. CG of the ball. Bring it a little closer here for you. Right there. It's going to be the center of his grip. You all can see that. Give me a couple minutes, we'll punch the holes up in this. We're gonna zoom right through this part though. It's loud and obnoxious, y'all don't wanna hear it. Alrighty guys, just like that, we got a raw hybrid for Mr. Quinn Adams. If I didn't tell you before, his positive access point is a quarter inch up and five and a half over. Just some quick details on this uh, blue, black, and orange raw hybrid. It's kind of pretty. I think the last hybrid was orange and black. This one's orange, blue, and black. Not too shabby. You're looking with a RG of 2.537, a differential of 0 0.038. So for this one, we went with a five by four by three and a half, which is the Storm's number three system for Quentin. It's the same layout that we put on his Hustle. He's a huge, huge Roto Grip fan. So we just want to basically compare the raw to the Roto Grip. So the next step, we're headed down to the lanes. A little bit. Two. All right. All righty, guys, we're back at the lanes here. What uh, Quentin's going to do, he hasn't thrown a ball yet. So he's going to use his, um, what is that called? The Hustle one? BRY? He's going to use his Hustle BRY to get warmed up for a couple of shots. And then he's going to throw the hammer raw. 10, 15 quick shots. We're happy to stop. Sound good? Sure. Let's do it. Alright guys, so one more ball with the Hustle. Okay, so that, I was standing 34 on that last practice ball. Um, we're going to start there uh, with a hammer raw, though. Same layout. Nearly died on that shot. But, I, I am surprised. I knew. So in my head, I see the hustle as being a very controllable piece, right? Controllable, low end. I personally have seen a lot of people throw the raw. I've never had a raw, and they haven't had a ton of success with it, from what I've seen. But first strike, we're gonna see how it fits in my arsenal. I'll do one more shot there. 34. Yes! yes. That's how you make your ball go straight, guys, right there. You get those gray boards, they're definitely gonna go straight. Well, the first one was the track I saw. Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Okay. So, what I'm thinking. If I remember from the last hustle to the last raw I had, the raw is a little bit more rounder. That's a little fair. Yes. That first one is a little sharp. It might have been. Well, I don't know if it's got HK22. Okay. Okay. Oh, she picks it up, Bubba. Whoa! So 
So, <laughs> I'm gonna throw one more from 34 and actually try to get it to my markdown lane. Okay, I'm not hitting it. That was my markdown lane. I didn't come through it the way I wanted to, but the end result was a strike. Um, that was a good ball. I like the shape, to be honest. Something about the colors going down lane too. I don't know. It helps me see the shape a little bit better than the hustle does. I think it's a little pops of the orange in it. So based off that last shot, I'm gonna move three to the left. So I'm gonna right keep going. Yeah. So it'll be 37. It's a little outside, but it's a consistent reaction from what I see so far. I believe that. I don't think it's that responsive. But... That last ball kind of baffled me. I'm not going to lie. Came out a little flat, maybe? No. It might have been a little bit faster. Okay. Well, but... we've been working on the feed, so... Maybe it's just starting to clink. Maybe you're keeping your arms straighter. Maybe you're talking your shoulder better. She is ripping off the back. Where's that dog? Dog, that's pan out. That makes sense. Right? No, it is. Okay, guys. Um, so I moved three to my original spot because I just wanted to see what the ball would do. Um, ideally, I believe one board last would have been the right adjustment. So I'm going to go two back to the right, so 35. Got that ball outside pretty quick, so it's going to react. Especially a low end ball like this, it's going to react off the dry. It's meant to do that. Uh, it's a little bit faster on that shot. Got it. Probably two boards more outside. Um, down late. But I like that reaction. I, I can't say if I like the ball or not yet. Definitely have to kind definitely have to get the games on it for me to judge that. But,
and that one reacted a little bit too much. So, like I said earlier, I think the hustle is a little bit more of a control piece compared to something like this. This one, I've always seen that you have to be a little bit more accurate. It's not exactly forgiving. If you want to put it that way. Well, when it strikes, it's phenomenal. It looks great. Um, I threw James's raw that he just got um, probably about a couple months ago now. I liked that. It has a sharp back end, but another ball that I feel like you have to throw it consistent in order to get a consistent reaction. Again, this isn't a review, it's just certain things that I'm already seeing with them. And it could be that I have to break it in, I don't know. That just wasn't a great shot, to be honest. But I'm surprised it came back as far as it did. It didn't leave a split, so. I'm just gonna throw a couple more shots. I'm gonna throw one somewhat up, up the boards. Um, I'm going to stand 26. That's well, not a good ball, I'll be honest. Did not hit my mark at all. I was probably eight boards inside. <laughs> Well, I'll go after the spare. At that same, same spot. My feet. It can go straighter. It, hold, it held in the oil. You saw that. Um, once again, not a great form ball, but you get to see what happens when you throw it different places. So, I'll try one more and try not to get it on the side of the ball. So actually, I'm gonna move a little bit more right. So I'm gonna stay at 22. That was a good ball. Not the line I envisioned, but it struck and it was pretty, so. So it is playable from that line. Um, I'm gonna go back to my comfort spot, or what seems to be my comfort, button, comfort spot so far, which is 35. First time buyer, or even if you just don't love the car you're driving now. All righty, boys and girls, showing up all ages. That would be that new hammer roll with the juice hybrid cover stock. Now you have the hustle hybrid, the raw hybrid. So you know there's going to be a comparison video coming. Just throw that out there like that. Um, what Quinn's going to do now, if you're new to the channel, he's going to put 50 games on this one. He's already got about 50 games on the hustle, so that review is coming pretty soon as well. Actually, yeah, you got the GB5 coming too. Yeah, GB5. Not the Infinity, though. No, GB5 will be coming pretty quick. The Infinity is giving a little bit of a hard time, two-handed. But those reviews will be coming soon. Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah. Leave your comment down below. Which one you think is going to be Quentin's favorite? You know, we already talked about the owner grip, throwing products, but I think the hammer raw is going to hang. I really do. Um, if you wouldn't mind, like, share, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. We'll see y'all next time.